right, so here are the components for an editorial. The first thing you have is you start with the um, title. It can be clever or direct as you want. Then you start with this line is your hook. The next is the background information. So it just gives you general information about the topic. You're just introducing the topic to your readers so they understand a little bit more about it. Then you decide on what the claim is. So here it's not a teen issue. It's just saying that cell phones are distracted, uh, distracting and should be prohibited. Then I start with a transition to lead me into the opposing viewpoint. So many people believe that cell phones are uh, more helpful than cause harm. Then I, um, the argument that cell phones can be used to call an, emergen uh, call an emergency. Uh, I explain their viewpoint a little more, and then I give an actual piece of evidence. After the evidence, I need a rebuttal. I start with the transition to the rebuttal, and I state, uh, I give a piece of evidence with a citation, and then I go ahead and say, um, state clearly that my claim is still more important without using I or me or you. Um, the driver must, uh, then I start off with a topic sentence, I go on and give a piece of evidence, and then I analyze the evidence, and then I give another piece of evidence with citations, and then I analyze it, and then I give a claim, or I'm sorry, a summarizing uh, sentence for the bottom of that paragraph. Next, um, I, talk, I explain what potential solutions or recommendations are. I can also use um, a credible source to add ethos of what is already recommended. And lastly, um, I leave the reader with something interesting to think about. I did copy and paste some quotes directly into this um, document. So I'm going to go back and make sure that I'm uh, in MLA format and click on Times New Roman N12 to make sure it's all the same font and it's all the same color. Um, and then I'm also going to make sure it's all just double spaced because it has to be in MLA format. Then I'm going to look at my works cited page that is at the end. I'm going to ensure that my it is all double spaced. Uh, none of it is that it's not bolded, that it's all New Times Roman, and that it's all 12. It's clearly double spaced. There are no extra spaces in between, and my margins are all good, and that it is in alphabetical order.